So this is my eighth year at Galt High, and I'm originally from Northern California, Eureka. I uh, went to school at Chico State, graduated, and this is actually my first teaching job straight out the gate. So I've really loved it here and really value my experiences here. There's a real culture of growth in our community and, and uh, people who really support vision. And so I've really appreciated the fact that in these eight years, there's been a lot of really good things that have happened in the, at this high school and in this town as a result of, I think, a collaborative nature of what this area is really like. Um, I was not a good student in high school and, and barely graduated with a 3.0 and that was because I really liked PE. And so I, I know what it's like to be a regular kid who struggles a little bit as a learner and needs something extra. And when I was in high school, my agriculture teacher really saw that I could be more than what I was letting myself be. And she really asked more of me and found ways to engage me and motivate me. And I think as a teacher, that's my mission, you know, is to help regular kids who are kind of just chugging along and are gonna miss the boat if they don't get something a little extra. And, and, and I design my learning and my, my classroom management and my approach to really focus on sort of that middle 80% of kids who just need the boost and need the extra something to help them kind of come alive. Today's lesson is part of a larger unit on animal disease. Um, and so today is really gonna focus on how we then uh, rectify disease and so you know it's built on standards that have to do with keeping animals healthy and how do we prevent disease how do we fix things once it's already happened um, and so today is on injections and so we've done some kind of small experiences with injections prior to and so we're going to begin the lesson by scaffolding from that and then really enhance that knowledge by by learning about the fundamentals of measurement when we're looking at administration of medication and, and sites of medication administration. And then how, do, how is that relevant in an agricultural context? So how do we ensure that when we're you know, giving uh, medications to, for example, food animals that we're doing so appropriately with, with recognition of consumer safety and, and quality products for the consumer as really the end goal?